Hey everybody, how's it going? Novel review again. I'm turning into a booktube person or something like that, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're going to do A Bay's End by Edward Morn. Uh, I guess an indie author? I'm, I, I don't really know, I, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, Edward Lorne's on YouTube. I watch him often. He's a great YouTuber. I recommend checking him out. Does book reviews, movie reviews, uh, big horror guy. Uh, I just really like his channel. So I decided to read one of his books. Uh, Bay's End came out in 2013, and I'm not sure if it's his first book or not. I think it is. Uh, but it's a very quick read. It's about 180 pages. And um, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't really care for it too much. Um, but I didn't hate it. So I would recommend it. We'll talk about that. I'm going to try to make this really quick. Um, this book is basically about, it's a coming of age novel, this kid named Trey and his friend Eddie, who's basically like an Eddie Haskell character that moves in a really like loud mouth, rude kid. Uh, but one of those kids that will always have your back, you know, swears a lot, but always has your back. And they decide to get back at this absolute asshole of a cop that lives in their town by putting four cherry bombs in his car. And they have another friend with them, Candy, who is kind of, uh, Trey's love, you know, they're young, like little 12 and 13 year old kids. Um, but they're all together, and they put these cherry bombs in his car, and when they run into the woods, they put four bombs in, and they hear six bombs go off. So that's the hook for the book, and that's a very cool thing. You know, my highest compliment I can give to a book is when I read it, and I go, damn it, I wish I thought of that, because what a great hook for a story, right? That's the mystery that keeps you reading. And this book... The first third of this book is really actually quite good. It, it, it feels like a King novel in some ways. Like, it feels like a um, coming-of-age story. It's a little graphic at times, but um, it, it's never gratuitous. Uh, it, this book might be a little much for some people. There's some child abuse in this and some sexual child abuse in this. So I want to warn you that I think some people will not be able to read this. They'll find it too graphic. But it's very brief. It's 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 um It doesn't feel like it's put in there for thrills and kills, and you know? Um, it's brief, and I, I don't think that it was intended to be fun, fun to read, you know? It's, 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 it's necessary to the story, um, but with that being said, because this book is so short, the story flies by, and almost, I don't want the, those dark sections to be longer, but it feels, they don't feel as impactful as I think they should be, because these characters, while they're cool, like, I'm gonna remember Trey and Eddie for sure, they were fun characters, a lot of these characters are just kind of characterizations. They're surface level, and I hate to say that, but there's just not enough time in this book to get used to them. Um, like the first third of the book, you start to get into the world, and I love. I grew up in a small town, so I love that vibe. But it just it's very rapid, you know. And then when we get to these darker sections of the book, it's like the character has an epiphany, and boom, we're there, and shit's going down, and it's very quick. It just feels too rushed. And then the last third of this book is where it kind of fell apart for me because it's that amplified. Like, it just goes by so quickly. And this character, Officer Mac, this whole situation with him, it's just, it's, I, I hate to be harsh, but it feels like Scooby-Doo to me, like um, generic thriller slasher kind of thing. The way he tells his master plan to them, exposition dumping, it, it really wasn't great. And... This character, Jenna, who is a, a, a friend of our main characters, who is a cop, you know, she knows he's crooked, she gets it, she's kind of on his side. She takes these kids to investigate what might be the potential discovery of a body, and I just couldn't believe that. I found it to be too out there. Like, I get it, she has to work on her own, because you, you can't go to the police when the police are crooked. Who do you go to? But it just was outrageously unbelievable to me. I, I just felt like, I can't believe this, and it just didn't seem real. And we get another surprise villain who exposition dumps in the span of, like, five pages. This book felt very rushed at the end, and if this book was a full-length novel, I think that it would have been a lot better. Um, I gave it three stars. I'd probably give it two stars, two and a half. Um, it, it had a great premise. I like this kind of stuff. It touched on some dark subject matter, which I appreciate because it was... I think it was done pretty well. It just needed more time. It needed more time. And the ending, the last third of the book, really, was very, I don't want to say lazy, but I've read that a million times, and I think Edward Lorne could do better than that. And I don't want to be too harsh, because I think this guy's got great writing. Now, I should say that I think some of the writing in here is a little awkward, but it feels like a first novel, like it feels like it maybe needed some editing, or, I don't know, maybe just working out the kinks. 
I don't think this book is like horribly written, so I don't want to turn you off to it. I still recommend it as a, you know, a quick kind of fun thriller. There's some stuff to think about in here for sure. Um, again, like I said, not for everybody, but I think most horror fans probably be okay with some of the stuff in here. Uh, not okay with it, you know, but you've seen it before. Um, it just needs more time. It, I need a full length novel of this. And the writing is a little weak at times, but I, the stuff that I, this book was written 10 years ago. So I feel like he probably has matured as an author and the way he writes reminds me of a combination of Stephen King and, and Richard Lehman, two authors I really like. So I'm going to read more of his books because I see something in this guy that I like. He has a very, this book needed work. Like I said, it's just awkward writing sometimes. And I didn't, I, I made my piece about it, but I can just see something in this dude that I like. Like sometimes is the way he tells the story is very like conversational. Like he's relaying a, like not like Stephen Graham Jones exactly, but Stephen Graham Jones has a very conversational style of writing. And that's how I felt with this book. He had a very like, I'm just good. And it, there's some of that in there. There's like some of the character relaying some things from a future point of view a little bit, but it just felt like the author was just kind of telling me the story. And I like that. So not really thrilled with this book. I have to be honest with you. It has great reviews, like really good reviews. Um, and there's more reviews of this on YouTube. There's a few, if you want to check them out, they're very positive, but you know, check them out. I had, I'm sorry to be so negative, but I, I can't, I'm not going to lie to you. I just really didn't think this was that great, but there's something good in here. And, uh, I'm going to read some more of his books, not right away. I'm going to let this one simmer for a bit and then read some other stuff, but I'm going to come back to this guy as an author because I like his channel a lot and he's a great guy. He seems like a guy that's really smart and be really fun to talk to. He just strikes me as one of those dudes, but as a first novel, if this is a first novel, it, it needs, this needs some work. And there's a lot of ways this story could go, you know, because I know this is not a mystery, no like this is not an Agatha Christie novel, but the hook of this is a mystery, right? What were those other two explosions? Like, again, like I said, I thought, motherfucker, this guy can write, you know, like that's some shit I would never think. That's a really great hook. And when we have a mystery hook like that in a, this kind of novel, I want it to, f I want it to fall together like a puzzle. Like the puzzle pieces are given to me and it's up to me to put those puzzle pieces in. Yet at the same time, I can't ever figure out what the fuck this puzzle is. I'm putting the pieces in and less and less holes, you know, I'm, I'm getting down to finishing this puzzle and I still can't figure out what the picture is. And when I put the last puzzle piece in, I go, oh, it's that. That's how I want that kind of thing to feel. And it doesn't. It just feels like the character's telling me their master plan. You know, information, clues, if you will, are given to me in this book right before the reveal happens. Like, they're only given to me so I have that knowledge. And those don't feel like clues to me. That happens a lot. I could go on more, but, you know, there's no point. Uh, it's a great, it's a very good idea for a story. I don't think it was executed very well, but um, it's a short story. If it was longer, I think it had more running time. Um, but this guy had obviously has some great ideas, right? And he's got some, he's got some good, good stuff going. So I'm going to read some more of that. That's just that. I recommend checking it out. Um, you, you can buy the Kindle or you can buy the paperback. It's a quick read. Yeah, that's that. Take care. Have a great day. Let me know if you read this book, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Um, yeah, let me know what you've been reading. I, you know, I always like to hear that kind of stuff. I do. I honestly do. I swear to you. I swear, I have to say this now because I know when I watch a video, I could be lying to you. This could be some crazy meta marketing, but I have to say this because I watch a video and somebody says, do this, do that, say this, say this. And I'm like, I know that you just are doing it for the algorithm. I don't, I don't even know what the, I, I, I don't know. Oh, hi. It's cat time. Okay. I gotta go. All right. Bye everybody.